I'm home. Home from the record store. <laughs> Hi everyone. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review loan. Galaxy Garden. Lone is the recording pseudonym of UK-based electronic music producer Matt Cutler. This is Cutler's fifth LP and a lot like another electronic music producer featured on this album, Machine Drum. His LP last year, Rooms, I, I reviewed it. A lot like him, Cutler has toyed with a lot of different electronic music styles on past releases. Everything from house to acid house and instrumental hip hop and glitch hop, wonky, down tempo too, but I feel like his last album, his last collection of tracks in a full length capacity. capacity. Struck an interesting retro nerve, definitely a, a 90s house vibe coming off on some of these tracks with really bright, punctuated synth chords and melodies. Definitely music I could see playing against some sort of video montage promoting an all-expenses-paid vacation to some kind of a beachside resort. But I do mean that in a good way, and at a few points on the Echo Locations EP that Lone dropped last year, he walked down that road as well, but with some, some glossier sounds. And now this new LP is out, and to me it's, it's an interesting spot in the evolution of Lone. There are still flashes of that really fun, upbeat, dance floor ready, hard edged, and let loose 90s house vibe but the sounds on this thing are produced with a much higher sheen. Everything on this album is so shiny and so rich. It's like a color gradient of classic cars, spit shined to spotless perfection, all kind of lined up and parked right next to one another, going on in this line. And it looks like it, it goes on for infinity. Or you could liken it to a really massive laser light show, or being about 12 or 13 in 1996 and first laying your eyes upon some Nintendo 64 games. These are pretty much images this album draws up for me, experiences that this album reminds me of. And it just has an immense emphasis on funky grooves and tons and tons of synthetic colors. The synths on this thing really do glisten like sun rays shining through uh, an island waterfall. It actually reminds me a little bit of that rusty album, Glass Swords, that dropped last year, but does not overdo it. It does not get so bright and so sweet that it starts to kind of give me cavities. And like that rusty album, Glass Swords, and, and like that Machine Drum album, Two Rooms, this LP incorporates some elements of footwork and future garage music into its rhythms. It's a clear influence on a good chunk of these tracks, and it's led to some really intricate beats. As far as I can tell, this is relatively new territory for Lone, to be this rhythmically dense. And I think this is just what he needed in order to produce a new album that felt fresh, that felt fun. And I think this new direction, this change in direction, is implied with the opening track, New Color, the title. Another kind of sound or just feel that, that kind of pops up on this album for me is just this sense of being really sunny and, and tropical. And yeah, it does partially have to do with the synths, but I think it has a lot for me to do with the drums. Not only the polyrhythms they're playing, but the timbre of the drums. Listening to the drums and a lot of the grooves on this album, to me it just feels like calypso music on steroids and, and just sped up immensely. This sound does not come out too strong on some of the harder tracks on here, like Crystal Caverns 1991, but if you take a listen to the second track off of this LP, The Animal Pattern, it's really strong. And of course it does not help that there is an array of, of sampled sounds playing in the background that sound like they have been ripped from a jungle. So, I mean, I've pretty much laid down the influences and the sounds in this album, and for the 12 tracks that it lasts, with the exception of a, of a few interludes, it pretty much, pretty, much, pretty much plays with varying combinations of, of these sounds, of these styles. But there are some highlights along the way, 
producer, machine drum, has really nice, not even a production credit, but a vocal feature on the third track. There's a nice stuttering synthesizer on the song too that I think is pretty great. And Machine Drum is featured a second time on this album, on the track Cthulhu, uh, toward the end of this LP. And while I do like the track, I don't feel like it adds as much to this album as the first feature did. The track Lying in Reeds is definitely one of the slower grooves on this album, and when it comes up, it, 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 it comes up, it's great because it really hits me just how fast a lot of the tracks on this album go. Crystal Caverns 1991, easily the hardest track on this album. I love these synthesizer chords when they start hitting in this in this in this really aggressive way. It's really punchy, feels so much like an old school house track, and I really love how Lone will start layering these really sweet synth leads over that rhythm. The track Earth's Lungs has one of the fatter heavier synth bass lines on this entire LP, which really makes it stick out for me. A really spacious introduction to, and the album ends off with a nice vocal feature from Aniko, which is one of the more soothing tracks on here. Did not really hit me as being as fiery as some songs on this LP, but it is a track that I do think will grow on me more as I revisit this thing. There were a few tracks on here like Radiance and Dream Girl that I thought were okay but didn't really add a new dynamic to this album for me. I mean, Dream Girl, Sky Surfer. But overall, this album is just so bright and just so intensely fun that it's hard for me to take my eyes off of it. It's hard for me to take my ears off of it. But not really bright or flashy in, in a cheap or, or simple way because the production chops and the detail is here. It's here in spades. Just great tracks, great grooves, fantastic production, nice variety between these songs and just a style that, that I'm very much into, feeling a decent to strong eight on this LP. If you guys have heard it, what do you think of it? Love it? Hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Thanks for watching. Anthony Fantano, Lone? Forever.